Hey everybody, I'm David and I want to talk about some news that dropped yesterday. David Cope, the director or the writer of uh, the of the Indiana Jones 5, uh, confirmed that Shia LaBeouf is not going to be returning for Indiana Jones 5. Uh, so there we go. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull introduced us to uh, uh, Shia LaBeouf's character who was Matt Mutt or something. I don't remember now. Uh, who was the son of Indiana Jones and Marion Ravenwood uh, from the original uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. And uh, the, the whole internet started rejoicing yesterday because we found out that Shia LaBeouf is not returning for the next indie film. That gives us all a sigh of relief. Uh, look, I, seriously though, I, I am not one of those people that hated Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Like, hate is such a strong word for me. Uh, for me to really hate a movie, I mean, I, it, it would have to do something terrible to my life. And thankfully, movies do no harm to your life. It might cause a little bit of, like, annoyance or boredom or, like, why was this movie made? It makes me question life uh, on what goes, uh, goes on in the Hollywood system. Uh, but it was not a movie that, like... Well, my life is now ruined. You know, I hate when people use that term, like, uh, it raped my childhood. It's like, no, it didn't. Your childhood is fine. Raiders of the Lost Ark is still there. So is Temple of Doom. So is uh, The Last Crusade. And Temple of Doom, let's, out of those three, it wasn't the best one. Uh, but it wasn't the worst one either. Uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull uh, maybe is the worst one for a lot of people, and I can see why. Uh, it, there is some problems with it, but I I, I also see some uh, good stuff in it as well. Uh, this is not going to be a review for it, so don't I'm not going to go through the good and bad. But I don't think Shia LaBeouf was like one of the bad things about the movie. I actually think uh, the character just wasn't presented well, uh, not in terms of acting, but in terms of writing and, and uh, character growth and all that. Uh, acting wise, I think Shia LaBeouf did the best he could with what was given to him. I mean, I, I'm sure if he had it his way, he wouldn't have been swinging with monkeys in the trees. Uh, I, I'm sure he would have uh, made it a little bit more grounded if he could. But you know what? He had to listen to Spielberg. He had to, and Spielberg had to listen to Lucas. Thankfully, Lucas is not here anymore. He's retired. Look, I love George Lucas. He created some of the best things back in his day. But in his later years, it, it was kind of like my grandfather. You know, it's, it's better if he just lets uh, people do the, the work that they need to do and just sit back and relax. You know, you, your time is gone and just... Just enjoy the show. And uh, Lucas didn't want to. He wanted to get his hands in as much as possible. Because you can feel a lot of it that was Lucas's idea, George Lucas's idea. And a lot of it that was Spielberg uh, gaining a little bit of uh, a win. Um, so I, I don't – I hope other people realize this and don't blame uh, Shia LaBeouf for everything that happened in Kingdom of the Crystal Skull uh, because sometimes it's out of an actor's control. I never blame an actor. I always blame the director or the producers because they're the ones that are more hands-on. So comment below, guys. Tell me what you think. Are you happy that Shia LaBeouf is not returning? Are you one of those people that think he did? he was one of the things that ruined kingdom of the crystal skull or are you like me you don't blame the actors you blame some of the other people that are uh more heavily involved uh because that's how i look at it so comment below have a discussion about this uh let me know your thoughts and let's hope for a great indiana jones 5 because we need indy back on track i think harrison ford needs that redemption for that character just like he returned in the force awakens and he was great again as han solo let's see what spielberg can now do without lucas you know on the back of his shoulders uh telling him to put a scene where shield LaBeouf is combing his hair and swinging with the monkeys so until next time guys take care